across her lot, but Grinchelica, who lived just north, did not. It could be her pigtails were pulled too tight. It could be Cynthia got lost one night. But the real reason most folks would concur is she thought all the chocolate should be just for her. And as she looked down on all the tomb cheer, she had thoughts of stealing Nicknus this year. So she hopped on her Malibu Cynthia sleigh and took off for Toonville that very day. She snuck through Toonville and pretty soon she was stealing chocolate from every Nick Toon. A chocolate helmet, a chocolate board, chocolate figures of Ultra Lord, chocolate patties on a chocolate grill, chocolate worms from Phil and Lil, chocolate chalk from Rudy's work, chocolates all the way from Earth. But just as she finished stealing her haul, out came the littlest Nicktoon of all, little Plankton Lou Who, who had one eye not too Who. <coughs> what is going on here? Grinchelica tried to think up a lie, something to use as a quick alibi. She patted Plankton on the head and kicked his green butt back into bed. Then she turned around and went on her way, back up the mountain in her thousand-pound sleigh. But when she got up to the very tip-top, she thought about something that made her stop. Tomorrow in Toonville there would be no treats, no Nickmas goodies, no Nickmas sweets. And as she looked down at her big Nickmas hall, she thought of the tunes having nothing at all. And she decided right then and there, she really, truly didn't care. The real meaning of Nickmas as far as she could see was... And all the tunes in Toonville say, Grinchelica's tummy grew 300 sizes that day. <laughs>